My name is Tally DiDomenico and I'm the marketing manager here at Plow Networks. I started working at Plow in January of 2018, so a little bit over four years now. Before I started at Plow and really got into marketing, um, I was in a situation where I was coming out of college and I knew that what I had learned, those skills would be transferable to, or could be transferable to a number of different industries, being communication specifically is part of what I studied. So I really was on a little journey to figure out what I wanted to do. So definitely was applying for a lot of jobs in a bunch of different fields, PR, marketing, um, like actual communications. And it really was one of those things where I just landed the marketing job. And that's really how I got into marketing. And I was in a coordinator role at my previous position. Um, and the rest was kind of history. So I got introduced to Plow through a family friend, really, that knew that I was potentially looking for a new role um, in, in marketing, that I was a marketer. Um, and that was where my experience was. The IT piece of it wasn't really as much of a huge aspect. And it was really the company itself um, and getting introduced to the founders of the company and their culture and their philosophy that pulled me into wanting to work at Plow. When I started working here, I was so young and ripe in my career that I definitely was in that mentality, like green and just ready to learn um, and dive into something that maybe I wasn't uh, as experienced in. But it was a learning curve for sure when I started here. There was a lot that I was intimidated by, didn't understand, had to figure out, and so a lot of that figure out on my own because we are a small company. That is kind of my personality and part of who I am. And I think part of how I work is I'm always wanting to learn more. I'm always down for the challenge. So um, it was, it was intimidating and um, it did take some time to really get my head around and grasp around like some of the things that we do and the solutions that we offer. Um, but I just think at the time I was so ready to go and excited and excited to be here that it made it less intimidating and there's support here that are there to help and answer your questions and they made it easy for me as well. You know, if I ever had a question about anything, I know there's always someone here I could turn to, whether it's one of the founders, the engineers, one of the analysts, and they were more than happy to answer any of my questions. So the team for sure helped. I mean, the goal of everybody else on the team, especially the team leads, is they want us to create content for people outside of the organization to understand what it is they do on a daily basis. So they want to work and collaborate with the marketing team to get their message across. And I think it helps being not so technical to get the message across in a simple and easy way to understand because that's just how I think and that's how we as a marketing team think and that's how we want to convey our messaging. So it does help. You wouldn't think so when coming into it that it would help, but it does. The marketing here has evolved a lot. It's, it's kind of a running joke, honestly, um, because when I started, they didn't really have much marketing presence at all. Plow didn't. They had a website. I think it was a one, one page site and they kind of were running on this theme of plow, harvesting and farming and how, you know, we turn over your IT and make it grow better, I think was kind of what they were trying to convey in their initial marketing concepts. And I just came in and I said, I don't think this is working. Um, but it was awesome because when I did join the team, that's what they wanted. They, they had no marketing team before I had joined the team. So they really put all trust in me to take with it what I wanted to and revamp the brand how I wanted to. Obviously they had some foundation laid, which was awesome, but it's changed a lot. So we've done a lot in the last four years. It's come a long, long, long way. So because we are a smaller department, we do wear a lot of hats, which means every day for me really is different. I could be doing anything from creating content plan and working on a content strategy to actually creating content, like copy or graphics for socials or email or a website, to reviewing and approving and maybe even editing um, other work from other members of our team, to <laughs> creating 
documents or branding information for the sales team that they need to do their job, all the way to working with a partner on an event or a co-branded campaign we're working on together. So it does really make every day different for me, which keeps it super fun and interesting. I don't want to say it's just me, because even when it was just me on the marketing team, there was collaboration with a lot of other people on the team. But I feel like I have, in a way, grown the marketing team from the ground up and the, our marketing presence. So my goal last year really was to grow the team, to get people to join the marketing team that have different expertise and skills than I do that can help add value to the team and create content and messaging and you know all the things that we do, A, in more volume, uh, and B, in ways that I am not an expert at. So really the initiative last year was how do we get someone to join the team that's gonna create video content for us? Um, because you know we had a lot of great written content, a lot of great visual content, um, email marketing content, social media, we were doing all that, but we know we knew that video was a game changer and us ourselves, you know, everybody loves to consume video. So that really was the goal last year and it's gonna be the goal going forward is how do we add awesome people to the marketing team that can keep helping us grow what we're doing and, and have time to make our visions of things that we want to accomplish come to life. For 2022 and the marketing team here at Plow, the goal is more around strategy and how do we look at all the things that we're doing and the data we've gathered and the insights we're learning along the way to either make changes or keep doing something that's working well um, and just make more insightful marketing decisions. That's what's gonna help us grow and also prove you know, that our team is ready to grow. We're ready to add some more people um, because look at all these things that we're doing and they're resulting in X, Y, and Z that's benefiting the company. So this year is really about digging deeper into the data and digging deeper into what's working and what's not working so we can have an even clearer strategy moving forward. I feel like a common sentiment across the company when people are asked this question, what's your favorite thing about working at Plow is the culture, which hands down for sure. I mean, it's an awesome and fun place to work. But I think for me, especially like I was saying, when I started on the team, I was so early on in my career and the team was a little bit smaller than it is today that I was able to have the exposure that I had to higher ups in the company, like the founders specifically. And I was able to, I mean, I still do, but especially back then um, when I was so new, was able to meet with them on a weekly basis, have brainstorming sessions with them, hear their insights and vision for the future of the company, and really just hear and learn from them, you know, how they act and hold themselves in the workplace. And I think a lot of that especially working with Brian has contributed to how I am as an employee and as a manager. Just their open door policy of the founders and the executives here, I don't think that anyone would say they feel nervous or like they can't just walk into the CEO's door and ask him a question or pick his brain or even just have a side conversation unrelated to work with them. They really are so awesome about that and the fact that they, they've continued that, I feel, even as we've grown that open door policy and it does contribute to the culture as well, but I just think the opportunity to be able to chat with, with guys and girls like that who have so much experience on a daily basis, you don't get that um, everywhere and not in larger companies, so. The founders of the company trust us, they trust the marketing team, they trust our vision. Obviously we collaborate with them on a lot of things and you know what they want to see go out and what they want our messaging to look like. Um, but the trust that they put in us to just move the needle and keep pushing forward and if something goes wrong, you know, we'll deal with it. But the answer is really never no. It's always yes. You know, what do you have to back it up? Why do you think this is a good idea? And it's go forward. Let's keep moving. Let's do it. Mm -hmm.